Meg, what are we doing here today? Aren't you oh, wait, we gotta introduce ourselves. ourselves. We'll do that first. Hi, I'm Thomas with Believe in the Run. And this is Megan with Believe in the Run. And Meg, this is weird. What are we doing? Today, we are talking about a shoe that we wouldn't normally talk about. It's from Walmart, costs $24.98, and it is called the Avia uh, Hightail Athletic Runner. It looks familiar to me. What does it remind you of? I don't know, it reminds me of a Hoka, but before we get into that, Meg, why is this pair still fresh with a tag on it? Okay, so they sent me two pairs, a seven and a seven and a half, because they weren't sure which one was gonna fit. Whoa, that's like $50 worth of shoes. <laughs> so I went with my normal size seven and a half. We're using the seven today because I ran in my other pair this morning and they are very wet and sweaty and disgusting. So today we're displaying the size seven. All right, so give us a rundown, Meg. What's the shoe about? First of all, I wish I hadn't taken apart how these uh, were shipped because it came on a little hanger. Like if you're getting Crocs or yeah. water shoes or something like that. This is supposed to be your everyday daily trainer. When you come across a shoe like this, there's some factors that go into making it cheap and why it is only $24. First off, there's no research and development for these shoes. They're basically looking at, I would guess the factory has a copy of lasts and stuff like that from the Hoka shoe. And they kind of build something around and say, okay, this is kind of the upper. So they're not spending all that time developing a new shoe. They're kind of cheating off someone else's homework. The second thing is that there's no wear testing. I doubt that they had athletes going out and putting miles in the shoe and saying, yeah, this is a, tweak this, maybe bring up the durometer or the foam. None of that's going on. Also, there's no marketing. You can see they don't even put a logo on the side because who wants you to know that they're wearing an Avia shoe? Plus, if you saw this someone wearing this running down the street, I might think they're wearing a Hoka Clifton. I might not, not, not think. <laughs> they're definitely wearing, I would definitely assume if I saw this shoe at a quick glance, I'm gonna say, oh, they're wearing Hoka's. Tell us where it kind of falls apart. Maybe start with the upper. So the upper is actually a pretty decent upper. It's an engineered mesh. Um, you've got a really plush uh, collar and tongue here, so plenty of padding. It's a comfortable step-in feel. It's a little warm, um, especially during the, the summer temps we're dealing with right now, but overall, not a bad upper. I mean, it matches the Hoka so much, even the ventilation on the sides has that reverse arrow like you're gonna see in a pair of Hoka's. It's like ridiculous. So moving on to the midsole, everything underneath the foot is kind of meh. This EVA foam, it, it doesn't feel horrible, but it feels like maybe a foam that people were using five, 10 years ago in shoes. It just feels- I mean, it's pretty firm. Yeah. So. Opposed to the Hoka Clifton that gives you that bouncy, responsive feel, when you're out on the roads, this one is much firmer. So it feels a little bit more dead than you would feel in a Hoka Clifton. I mean, I didn't wear it, but knowing what I know about foams, this would have even 10 years ago been a cheap feeling EVA foam. Yeah, so it's definitely not gonna give you that fun, light, bouncy ride, but it's not the worst shoe I've ever run in. That's really bad. What would you say the worst is? I don't know, someone asked me that the other day. I don't have. You're gonna have to come up with a better answer at some point. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> moving on down to the outsole. It doesn't feel super grippy, but you tell me. It's not super grippy, but I will say it's definitely durable. So you're gonna get a decent amount of miles out of this shoe if you're you want to. You're getting your $25 out of For this shoe. For sure. Year. So I was able to get 18 miles out of this shoe. We normally always do at least 20, but I was getting a blister on the inside of my foot. It might be a me issue. I happen to have bunions. So if anyone Ooh. doesn't know what that is, <laughs> normal people's big toe goes like this, mine goes like this. And it has that little bump, you know, like the witches have. So <laughs> right in that area of my foot is where I got a lot of rubbing and blisters. So I actually spaced out runs so that my initial blister could heal before I took them back out. And it happened again. So unfortunately, I'm probably not going to take them back out just because it's unavoidable. So what it all comes down to is it's a $25 shoe. It's probably pretty okay for walking around in, maybe even really low mileage. I'm talking three miles and under a day. Um, but otherwise, this is not 
your pick. What you're saying, this shoe at the price isn't that bad. Like yeah. $25 for the shoe, you could run in it. If you're seriously on a really tight budget and you just need something to run in, or say that you forgot your running shoes and your friends are all like, hey, let's go. And you're like, where can I go? Oh, Walmart. I'll just grab a pair of shoes on vacation or something that I can run in and maybe just leave at the hotel when I'm done. This shoe might be the shoe for you. That is it. When you're going on vacation and you want to throw away your shoe afterwards, <laughs> this, this is, is the, the one. one. And I'm sure there are people out there that are on a budget that do need an alternative to running and don't have uh, endless budgets for running shoes like some people. So this shoe could actually fill the role for that person. Like I said, at the end of the day, if you just are using this casually, not super intense training, it's not a bad shoe. Also, just like the Hoka Clifton 8, this actually weighs the exact same. So this is a women's size 7, weighs 7.7 .7 ounces. Uh, exact same as the Hoka Clifton 8. Anyway, so that's great. So there are options for you out there. Well under fifty dollars at twenty four twenty. What was twenty four ninety eight. Twenty four ninety eight. Twenty five dollars. You can get yourself a running shoe that you can run in. Yeah. We got all these other channels people can check us out on. What should they do? Go find us on Instagram, YouTube, uh, Strava, Facebook. It's just at Believe in the Run. And uh, we also have two podcasts, so you can listen to us every week on the Drop or Fuel for the Soul, which is all about nutrition and hydration for performance. Like this, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and you'll see more fascinating videos like this one that blow your mind. This one definitely blew some people's minds. Mind blown. Bye, Ma. Little Kipchoge, big Kipchoge. <laughs> Baby Chobi. <laughs> Baby Chobi. Watch a Kenobi. Um, anyway.